Now, Idaho's mountains have been ravaged by wildfires uh, this uh, last year or so. Trees and grasses scorched by summer flames once to help hold those hills in place. A little rain can turn into torrential runoff, and saturated soil can quickly give way and wipe out everything in its path. Much of the area around Sun Valley suffered from massive wildfires last summer. Chris Oswalt is in Blaine County. Chris, now there's significant mudslide risk there. Don and Tammy, there really is. With more rain on the way, the Bureau of Land Management and fire officials here say they are on high alert. They're on alert for those mudslides that you were talking about. And let me show you why. If you take a look at the mountain over here, you can see the very large burn spot that remained after last year's wildfires. All it takes is one large rain, and you have a potential disaster. Mudslides are not a new problem, er problem to this area. This is video from the Ketchum Fire Chief's dash cam as he responded to a mudslide in the Greenhorn Gully area last September. It's an area that could see more mudslides this year. Last year's fire came awfully close to the 30 or so homes in the Greenhorn Gully area. The Ketchum Fire Chief says people who live in the area need to be prepared for another possible slide. The best thing to do is try and stay ahead of the flows if there is one coming. If you're warned that it's immediate evacuation and something's going to happen, pack up and head out. But uh, the biggest thing is to be prepared to leave. If you are trapped, call 911. Get to higher ground. We'll do everything we can to get you out. Now, LA says the other areas of concern include the Deer Creek, the Covey area, the Warm Springs areas, and he says they are all, all firefighters are prepared to respond if needed. He says if a mudslide does occur here, he doesn't expect it to be too significant like something we saw in Washington state. He says most of the damage will be from mud that comes in under the homes and fills it up. He says if people listen to the warnings that they are given, they should be safe. We're reporting live from Ketchum, Chris Oswalt, today six on your side.